This slide and the next one contain two theorems regarding expected values and the associated proofs. Here's the first one. If x and y are random variables, notice they could be discrete, they could be continuous, and there's no statement here of whether they are independent random variables or dependent random variables, very general result, then the expected value of g of x plus h of y is the expected value of g of x plus the expected value of h of y for any functions g and h. Now in this case you're always assuming when the expectations exist. Here is the proof. The proof is going to be done for continuous random variables x plus y. The discrete proof would be similar with integrals replaced by summations. The expected value of g of x plus h of y by the definition of the expected value will be g of x plus h of y multiplied by the joint probability density function f of x y dy dx over the support. So you could put a script a down here if you wanted to but it's also fine to run both limits from negative infinity to infinity. g of x can be multiplied by f of x y and there's one double integral and then h of y can be multiplied by f of x y in this fashion. So broken into two double integrals. This one by definition is the expected value of g of x. This one by definition is the expected value of h of y because g of x is showing up right here and h of y is showing up right here and that completes the proof. A very common application of this theorem is when g of x is just x and h of y is just y, the expected value of x plus y is the expected value of x plus the expected value of y and that is a result that is used quite often when working with sums of random variables.